Hmm. Hmm. If you don't know, then you should probably talk to the director about it. Like, since he's waiting on his time, I don't think he should be left alone right now. What's going on? Did something happen to him? No point in speculating. Let's head to the meeting room and find out what's going on. Director Kojimizu, what happened? Ah, it's you. I'm glad you're back. Miyazu Atsuta has been abducted from the hospital. Based on the security camera footage on site, we've identified the one responsible as Konsu from Bethel's Egyptian branch. It's okay. I can sense that Miyazu is still safe. But why would the Egyptian branch take her? If I had to venture a guess, it's because Konsu wants to become a Nahobino. Become a Nahobino? Like him? Hmm. Perhaps the time is right to inform you. Eons ago, the gods were gifted with both eternal life and the knowledge of good and evil. In those days, they were known as Nahobino. However, the creator ordered the forfeiture of Nahobino's knowledge. Thenceforth, they regressed into demons. Well, you see, the creator sealed the demon's knowledge within the Garden of Paradise, inside a forbidden tree. But then came a serpent who tempted the garden's inhabitants to eat of the tree's fruit and thus consume its knowledge. From then on, that knowledge was bound to the human soul and is still passed down throughout the generations. Or so the tale is told. In any case, the demons of then and now yearn to reclaim what was lost, and so seek human souls. Yet the union of man and demon remains prohibited. Because those who bear knowledge, namely a Nahobino, pose a threat to God's established order. Doesn't that mean that he would be considered a threat as well? And Konsu too. Konsu's intentions have yet to be made clear, but they will once you confront him directly. I've assessed that retrieving Miyazu Atsuta is of great importance to the Japanese branch. I would like all of you to join Yuzuru Atsuta in rescuing her. Where is Yuzuru now? He was understandably upset by this development, so he and Dazai returned to the door. I've already sent word that you'd be returning soon yourselves. I recommend meeting with them at the dorm to discuss these events. Um, before that, there's something that's been bothering me ever since we started tracking down the Kadishtu. Do you know someone named Shohei Yakumo? Yes, he's carried out a number of attacks on Bethel-affiliated facilities. Why do you ask? He does seem to be hostile toward Bethel, but he hasn't attacked us. Actually, he's helped us. I think there's more to his actions than just undermining Bethel itself. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. But for the time being, I would like you to focus on rescuing Miyazu Atsuta. Even within Bethel, the Egyptian branch remains enigmatic. The slightest opening could prove fatal. So.
no sé, mi azu. You're back now, right? Otsuta's been pretty beat up over his sister getting taken. Yasu's gone again. I couldn't protect her this time either. Hey, cheer up. It all worked out last time, so I'm sure it will this time too. And you got us behind you, so let's just... These are demons we're talking about. If you underestimate your enemy, you'll just get yourself killed. I... sorry! I was just... trying to make you feel better. He thinks you still got a chance, right? Do you? Do you really think there's still time that we can save Miyazu? See, I told you he did. He does, and I do too. So let's go get her, man. Thank you. And does I? I really am sorry. No worries. Honestly, kind of cool. Nice to see you're a normal guy. Honor student and all. All right, enough with the honor student. We're friends now, aren't we? Call me Yuzuru. Oh, totally. We're buddies, Yuzuru. So it's only right you call me Ichiro then. Is. If we're gonna go save her, then we'd better be quick. You mean you want to come along with us? Thank you. Then let's move. Young man, though I am an artificial construct, I am aware of the concept of siblings and familial relationships. Therefore, I can comprehend Yuzuru Atsuta's distress at his sister's abduction. He must be carrying pain in his heart, as any other person would. Though I cannot be certain, as I do not have a heart. Apologies for the unnecessary discussion. Let's be off to the Egyptian branch. We will save your friends from their suffering. Looks like this is the Egyptian branch's forward base.
I'm like, don't let her trick you. You can't trust anything this demon says. Thank you. I was almost misled by a demon. Yeah, thanks. What they're friends for. Frame drops. Please stop. Konzu and I have no intention of harming Miyazu. I'm not falling for that. You won't get away with taking my sister. <sighs> Miyazu is further in. You can see for yourself if you don't believe me. Miyazu Atsuta seems to be safe for the time being. We have avoided a worst case scenario. But regardless of her physical well being, it is still possible that Konsu could be planning to use her to become a Nahobino. We should move forward and get a better understanding of the situation. of Bethel, Egypt. What business do you have with me? <sighs> you heard him. Miyazu is coming with us. And after that, what exactly could you do for her? I have watched you and Miyazu for a very long time. Believe me, I understand that you want to keep her safe. However, now that demons have invaded Tokyo, you simply don't have what it takes. I will be the one protecting Miyazu from now on. Time to do the right thing as her brother. Time to stop putting her in danger. The hell do you think you are? Stole her from the hospital? What kind of protector does that make you, huh, jackass? Let's go, Yuzuru! We got this guy! We'll get Miyazu by force if we have to! So, it has come to this. Miyazu! I'm so glad to see you. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine, Yuzuru. But please believe me. Konsu was just trying to protect me from the demons. But... I know. You're the one who's been protecting me this whole time. And 
You've sacrificed everything in your life just for me. Sacrificed? That's not true at all. We're family. The only family we've got. I know. But I also know that I'm a burden on you. I don't want to be anymore. Kansu will keep me safe. That way, you can start living for yourself. And if I see that you can do that, then I think I can have hope for my future too. But if you're still worried about me, please help other people who are suffering like I am. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to get involved in this too, but thank you for trying to help me. I apologize as well. I should have done more to keep this peaceful, but I'm sure you understand the threat that the Kadishku pose. Will you allow us to shelter Miyazu here? Please take good care of my sister. Uh, there is something else I should tell you, Nahobino. You are aware that Abdiel is currently commanding Bethel's forces against the Demon King, correct? Well, it appears another Archangel may be making a move. His name is Mastema. Archangel Mastema. You might consider him a shadow operative of Bethel, taking the dirtier jobs in the name of God, even commanding demons. I am certain he is working behind the scenes to hunt down the Kadishto. If you use that, you should be able to meet with Mastema. It may be worth your while to speak with him, seeing as how you share a common goal. Thanks, everyone, for helping me with Miyazu. I guess she's stronger than I ever gave her credit for. She doesn't need me anymore. Yuzuru... Sorry, Yuzuru. I couldn't help much. And he ended up doing most of the work. You don't have to be sorry. If there's anyone who wasn't able to help Miyazu, it was me. I... have to think about the last thing she said to me. Yuzuru. Hey, do you have a moment? Back there, Konsu said he'd protect her, and we basically just took him at his word. It's a risk. Do you think we can really afford to believe a demon's promises? Or not? You know what demons can be like. Would we be fools to trust them? Huh. They're actually a lot like humans, aren't they? Some are easy to trust, and some are a different matter altogether. Sorry, I guess that all came out of nowhere. Hey, look, uh, are you gonna go see the Archangel after this? Cause if you are, would you mind taking me with you? Me too. I want to know what Bethel HQ is thinking. I'd like to join as well. Is that all right? Okay. Then once we're all ready, let's go. Young man, I would like to ask for Yuzuru Atsuta had been fighting to protect Tokyo from demons for the purpose of keeping Miyazu his only family. But his actions created an unintended byproduct. Namely, an emotional burden on his sister. This led her to leave him and go with Konsu. Human feelings are complex, and it is difficult to ascertain correct courses of action. I am curious as to your thoughts on the matter of Yuzuru and his sister. Hmm.
You both have to compromise. Compromise? So you mean to say that neither side was entirely satisfied with the result? By entering Konsu's protection, Miyazu will be safe from the dangers surrounding Tokyo, and it is unlikely that Bethel, Egypt will be defeated by other demons. Additionally, Yuzuru will no longer need to risk his life to protect his sister. From this perspective, the ideal result was reached for everyone involved. But even if that is the logical conclusion, the look on Yuzuru's face seemed to indicate a reluctance to accept it as such. Now I see why you called it a compromise. Matters can hardly be fully settled when accounting for human feelings. The human heart is difficult to understand. Even if both sides want what's best for each other, a desirable solution cannot always be reached. But despite that, I believe having such unconditional love and compassion for another is a remarkable quality.